My sister Brianna is carrying both our twins. Brianna being the carrier was the most important thing to us. I knew that I could trust her. Some people thought, this is sick, you guys are freaks, white trash from Arkansas. What you're doing is wrong to the core. And they're all adults making these comments. Shocking. Stella. No, don't go in the closet. My name is Nathan Hughes. My name is Joseph Ryan Hughes. Oh, wow, well, I should have said Nathan Wayne. Yeah, you want, it's brand oh, name. Hey. Oh, hey. Rewind. Okay. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> His name is Joseph. I thought you were supposed to do it. My name is Joseph, this is my husband Nathan, and we've been together for 13 years. Oh, you did so good on my highlight. Oh, yes. It's about time you got it right. Nothing? I get nothing for that comment? No, because I know it's not true. <laughs> you do each other's hair? We do. So, I'm a hairstylist. We literally own a very high-end salon with a boutique, design jewelry, style you from head to toe, the sky's the limit. And he orders me around, he's my boss. Do as I say. He thinks so. We met through mutual friends. I had a girlfriend that did hair and her brother worked with Nathan doing hair. About a year after I found out about Nathan, I ended up meeting him. I didn't go into it thinking I would ever date him. He wasn't necessarily my type. Once we realized that we had a good chemistry, friendship-wise, that's when the romance developed. And let me go back. When he says I wasn't his type, fabulous and funny and, you know, all the good things. <laughs> We've been together for about 13 years. You're still happy and in love, it seems like. Oh, yeah. Since day one. Be more convincing, Nathan. <laughs> I am convincing. <laughs> Growing up in Texas, and definitely even more so in a Mormon family, I felt a lot of, quote, Mormon guilt about my sexuality. I knew for sure since I was 14 that I was gay, but I was very scared of not only admitting to myself, but also disappointing my family or my parents. Thankfully, I had the support of my sister, Brianna. She was the first person that I told that I was gay. Brianna's not only my little sister, but she's my best friend and always been my bodyguard and protector. And fast forward to our adulthood, she was able to agree with me that she would be our gestational carrier and help us start our own family. I have always known that I want children. I was very clear with Nathan from the time we met that when I was 35, I was bringing babies home. When he turned about 33, he started like getting on that bandwagon and I was like freaking out. <laughs> But of course, now that it's in process, like I can't imagine not, you know, doing it. What? Huh. He's gonna be a great dad. And I knew whenever we dated that he had all the attributes I was looking for. And so. I mean, honestly, I've been raising a child for what, 13 years Well, if now. this is what you did, then I'm scared. I'm scared, because <laughs> I'm a brat. Oh, look at you, working hard. Here, hold on. You? What do you do with this thing? Uh, that goes in the crib. Oh. My sister, Brianna. No, I'm is, not your sister. No, I was <laughs> looking at you. After discussing it, we decided that Brianna being the carrier was the most important thing to us because I knew that if something did happen, I could trust her. We had our friend Courtney, our best friend, that was gonna donate her eggs, and then we would use both of our sperm. I've known the guys for about 12 years, uh, and I am the egg donor. And now you are the baby bed creator. Our first IVF journey was a little stressful. A little? It was a lot stressful. <laughs> the drama before the first embryo transfer, they called me the morning of the transfer and told me, unfortunately, Joseph, the embryo of yours did not survive the thawing process and is no longer viable. So I was devastated. They ended up thawing out a second embryo, so then we did get pregnant with twin girls. And unfortunately, we made it seven weeks before Brianna had a miscarriage, and it was the most devastating thing that any of us have ever been through. We're moving forward. We've done a second embryo transfer after Brianna was able to recover, and thankfully she agreed to do it again, and we're now pregnant with one boy, one girl. We are eight weeks or less away from the due date. Although it looks like it's a mess, I don't have to worry because Courtney, AKA Aunt Courtney, will handle all the things. So Yay. I am not alarmed. <laughs> Look at this. So cute. I know I'm gonna feel exponentially more love for these babies than I do any animal that I've ever had. 
And so I'm excited for my heart to grow. I'm a Grinch right now. Hello, Rihanna. How are my babies? Oh, yay. Hey, girl. Today. I'm feeling very Pregnant? large. Yeah, so tight. I'm gonna pop like a balloon and we still have like two months. Today is our 29th week appointment, so we're gonna do an ultrasound to make sure that they're both living and swimming well. The thing that stresses me out the most about being a parent is just the amount of hate in the world. I cannot begin to express how disturbing it is that people feel the need to express their opinions of my life and my family when it has nothing to do with them and their life and their family. A lot of the reactions I get from people are mostly positive, but you'll still find that there's a lot of uh, uneducated opinions out there because they don't really understand that it's not my DNA mixing with my brothers or even my brother-in-laws, I'm literally just housing them for nine months. Some people were so excited, like, oh, this is so perfect, it's amazing, you're gonna be able to see her every day. The people that know how it works. And some people thought, this is sick, you guys are freaks, um, white trash from Arkansas. OMG, so sad for those babies. More mental issues ahead, live your life, don't bring innocent kids into it. You're mocking God. What you're doing is wrong to the core, God forgive you. Poor baby gonna live in hell one day. This will be illegal again. This is sick. The whole situation is an abomination. So f***ed up. And they're all adults that are making these comments. They're the bullies. Like, and then they have children and they teach their children that. Shocking. I knew that people were gonna judge us for being gay and automatically put us in a category of you shouldn't have kids. We don't want to focus on the negative and I don't try to give them any attention. We're going to rise above. All right. So they look good. Size is great. Your fluid's good. Your weight and blood pressure are doing good. So you're cruising. Good work, oven. <laughs> we are about to head over to the new salon. We're in transition, moving into our newer, better, larger location. The appointment went really well. I didn't feel very uncomfortable. Like the doctor made me feel very safe. Uh -huh. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> if I could describe our journey in one word, I mean, I would say, holy cow. <laughs> <laughs> it's important to live your life for yourself. You only get one shot, mm -hmm. you know? And if you constantly live your life trying to please other people, you're constantly trying to be somebody for someone else. You're just gonna have a lifetime of regret. There's so many haters and ugly people out there, but there's also a lot of loving people. And I feel like our story is gonna empower people out there. I think that the beauty of my life is that it's perfectly imperfect. We're crazy. We <laughs> Mostly him. Crazy. I'm the sane one. <laughs> I don't know why I'm crying. I really am just extremely emotional about the whole process because it is my life's dream and it's coming true right now. There are no words to describe the amount of gratitude I feel toward Courtney and Brianna. My goal for this family is world domination. 